vampires. Some believe they're simply a myth, something from the storybooks. But for those that have seen them up close, experienced their terror, felt their dead, clammy flesh against their own, for them, vampires are very real. They walk amongst us, some alone and others in groups. The more powerful ones can even walk in the daylight, if only for a short time. There is no reasoning, no bargaining with these Ravagers. They desire only blood, and they will stop at nothing to quench this thirst. This thirst is powerful and all-consuming. Most people don't believe in vampires, and most of those that do are dead. you waking the master, do we? I'll do anything, anything. Just please let me go. See, the problem with letting you go is that you call the cops and then they raid my castle. I, I promise I won't say anything to anyone. Shh, my love. If you just do as you're told, you won't feel a thing. Perfect. That a girl. What are you doing out? The sun's about to rise. Yes, but there's a much more pressing matter. What's wrong? One of the watchers has spotted a group of slayers. They've been tracking us for months. Damn. Why can't they just leave us alone? Because we have killed their kind. And they won't stop until we are both destroyed. Then we should kill them, Master. You and I together. They wouldn't stand a chance. I am old, Celeste. And I can't take any chances of you being harmed. If you won't fight, then we can hide. We can't take the chance of being found. I am not worried about my safety, but of yours. I don't understand what you mean. My darling Celeste, I've lived hundreds of years and traveled thousands of miles in my time. Frankly, I've grown tired of this existence. Master, you can't mean that. I do mean it. So I want you to go. Leave this miserable place. But Master, the hunters will just kill you and then they'll come after me. That is why you must learn to integrate into society. Learn to blend in and stay out of sight. Only then will you be safe. 
No, I can't. I can't go without you. You must. And you must go now. Quickly. I won't forget you, Master. Goodbye, Celeste. The Devil's Speed be with you. There it is, Castle of Count Reinhardt, the most diabolical vampire in history. I'm gonna drive a stake right up his ass for what he did to my family. Let's try to maintain our composure, Slayers. I'm with Keaton, Father. I almost bought a stick of dynamite just for that reason. Ha, <laughs> dynamite, stakes up the ass. I'm afraid none of that will do any good. Only a stake through the heart will destroy these creatures. Well, it'd make me feel a hell of a lot better. Let's go. Just keep your eyes peeled. Evil dwells here. I can smell it. How many are there, Father? Just the Master and his bride. We've eradicated all the others. I hope there are more. I'm ready for action. Hold your horses there, Rambo. Stick to the plan. Spread out.
count, it's come down to you and me. the world of this evil and see that he never walks the earth again. Dear Lord in heaven, that means the other vampire got away. Let me see your ticket, dear. I've never traveled by train before, and I'm a little nervous. You're gonna love it. You can read, eat, sleep, and nobody's trying to cut you off. Good. I've never even been out of the city. Well, you won't get out of the city on this one, dear. This is the 26th. And you want the 26th, and it's down that alleyway. There's a shortcut that'll take you right to it. Oh my gosh, thank you. I would have been on the wrong one. Well, where are you headed, dear? Oh, I'm going down south to stay with my uncle and my cousin for a while. I've never even met him before. Well, that sounds exciting. Are you going for spring break? Yeah. My parents thought it'd be a good idea to take a break from the city and go stay with them for a while. My uncle's got a really good job at a college or something, so I'm really excited to meet him. That sounds wonderful. I hope you have a good trip. Well, thank you. I'm sure I will. Well, thanks again for the directions. I probably better get going. Certainly. Safe travels. No, it was the master vampire that I destroyed. Luckily, I have a pretty good idea of where the fledgling vampire went. But she'll be hiding because she knows we're coming for her. I have faith in you, my son. Thank you, General Secretary. I am sorry again that I let you down. I know you put your trust in me. Just be careful and keep me updated. I will keep you updated, absolutely. And God be with you as well.
Drinking's a sin, Father Carmichael. Christ himself drank from the fruit of the vine, Father Owen, in Matthew 26, 29. But do not be drunk with wine, which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, Ephesians 5.18. Well then, I guess I'm filling myself with a little extra spirit this evening, okay? Is something wrong? Well, I just got off the phone with the general secretary. I was unsuccessful at killing both the vampires at Reinhardt's castle this morning. Is he angry? Not in his words, but in his tone, I could tell he was. No matter. I'm going back out tonight. Do you require any assistance? No, the last time I went, I had a group and they knew we were coming. This is a job I have to do alone. Do you have any idea where the beast could have fled to? I heard on the news earlier today about a young woman who was killed at the train station on her way to see family in Brooksville. The police said she had puncture marks in her neck. They claim it's a deranged animal. And you think it's your vampire? I know it's my vampire. Now I just have to find her. Godspeed, Father Carmichael. And reach out if you need anything. I will. Thank you, Father Owen. And Father Carmichael, don't fill up too much on the spirit. Leave just a little bit for the rest of us. Will do. Can I help you? Claire? Yeah, do I know you? Your cousin, Amanda? Oh, I'm so glad you can make it. Come on in. You're inviting me in. Well, yeah, I wouldn't leave you on the porch. Come on in. We weren't expecting you till the weekend. Oh, I kind of had an early start. I hope that's okay. I don't mind the company. It's too quiet in here. It's like a tomb. I think I'll fit right in then. You're different than what I thought you'd look like. What were you expecting? Maybe a little bit older? I don't really know. I mean, I have my little secrets to staying youthful. Well, it's working. You're beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. I, I better go get my dad. He's excited to meet you. I'll be right back. Amanda, it's my dad, Richard. Dr. Richard Corman. Doctor, excuse me. It's very nice to meet you, Dr. Corman. You can just call me Richard. That changed quickly. Don't mind, Amanda. How was your trip? It was uneventful, for the most part. Um, but I do really appreciate you letting me stay for spring break. Well, we are sure glad to have you here. I know I am. It's nice to have another woman in the house. Are you uh, tired of your old dad, are you? Of course not, Dr. Corman. You know, ever since her mom passed away, she's she's kind of been stuck here with me, so... Well, hey, listen, why don't you show her to her room, and I'll start dinner. Sounds great. Come on this way. So there's a bathroom here. It's Dad's room. This is my room if you need anything. Oh! That's Dad's lab. We don't go there. Will this room work for you? Oh, yes. It's wonderful. Thank you. Uh, dinner will be ready in a few minutes. It's roast chicken. Hope you like that. Actually, I won't be joining you. I ate dinner on the train. Okay, you could still come and sit and talk with us, though. You know, I really probably should rest. We can get better acquainted tomorrow. Okay, um, I can show you around town. There's not much, but I think you'd enjoy it. We'll see. Thank you, Claire. Okay. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, I will.
Damn, Sid, couldn't you at least left me one? I got a little thirsty. I'd say you're gonna feel like trash in the morning. I kind of feel like trash now. Serves you right. Been out here all night and not one bite. Next time I'm gonna pick our fishing spot. You mean you actually came out here to try and catch something? Well, yeah, why else would we have came out here? To get drunk. You're a mess. Next time I'm gonna take Bill with me. Oh yeah? Well, you know what I need? I need... Coffee? Let's take a piss. Don't get lost. I'm not gonna carry your big ass back to the truck. Whatever. I hope your dumb ass fell in the lake. Sid? Sid? Not one damn fish. I'm gonna kill him. Holy hell! Something like that. Who are you? Am I dreaming? This is no dream. Well, whatever it is, I'm good with it. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Looking for something to drink. Well, we're out of beer, so I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm not looking for beer. Well, what are you drinking then? You. What? friend, today was unsuccessful, but soon, very soon, you will live. You will live again.
Morning, Dad. Good morning. How'd you sleep? No, not too well. I tossed and turned all night. You doing all right? Just kind of feeling unnerved. I'm not really sure why. Well, there's some coffee in the kitchen. You might want to go get yourself some. Okay, thanks. Um, is Amanda up yet? I have not seen her yet. Mm, I was hoping that she would be. I didn't really get to talk to her much last night. Well, I tell you, she's probably exhausted. She had a really long trip, and I'm sure she'll be up soon. Yeah, I think I'll get some coffee and go read for a bit. Well... I'm going to be down in my office most of the day, so if you need anything, you know where to find me. Vicious animal. Vicious animal, my foot. Afternoon, Professor Browning. Richard, how are we today? <laughs> well, actually, I'm doing well, and um, I just finished the next round of the serum. Still trying to bring that damn mummy back to life, are we? I'll never give up. You know that. All too well. Your stubbornness is going to be the death of you someday. 
<laughs> hey, I gotta go somehow. What brings you on today? Well, I may have some good news for you. Oh, okay. I like the sound of that. Well, as you know, the Egyptology seminar is coming up, and Professor Whale wanted me to ask you about filling the last guest lecture spot. Wow. Wow. <laughs> of course, I'd be honored to. Well, I figured you might, but I'm a little hesitant about having you on the forum myself. Well, wh why is that? Well, you've just been preoccupied lately, Richard. I mean, your students are saying that you're canceling classes lately, and you're showing up distant and uninterested, even when you are here. I've just been tired. I, it's nothing to worry about. Well, I hope not. You're a brilliant scholar, my friend, but this fascination with your mummy, it's starting to affect your work. <laughs> affect my work? This is my work. It's a hobby, Richard, and an illegal one at that. I mean, the museum is still trying to locate its whereabouts. <laughs> Look, when I'm successful, no one's going to give a damn that I borrowed the mummy, okay? We'll see. I just don't want one of our greatest minds to be clouded with such fantasies. Fantasy. Fantasy! Greg, come on! The mummy will live, okay? And when he does, we will learn all the secrets of ancient Egypt. We will learn everything! Well, all right then. I'll let Professor Whale know that you'll be taking that final spot. <sighs> Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, and are we still on for the chess game next Thursday? <laughs> I'd never miss it. Good. Well, I'll bring the bourbon this time. All right. Take care, Greg. Good afternoon, ladies.
She's been here. I can smell her blood-sucking stench a mile away. Now, I wait. Good evening, Dr. Corman. Oh, ha, Amanda, I didn't hear you come in. Come on, come on over here. I want you to check something out. What are you working on? Well, and you can call me Richard. You don't have to be so formal, okay? Of course, of course. Um, just watch this. This is going to be impressive. This is the mummy. Uh-huh. How did a mummy get here? Can you keep a secret? I mean, I don't know anybody around here, so who would I tell? Well, I don't really want Claire knowing about this. She wouldn't approve, and I know her mom wouldn't have either. I understand. I won't say anything. Okay. Do you believe in the, uh, undead? Of course. Hmm. You must be very open-minded. Something like that. Well, I've been working on this project for months. And uh, if I can perfect a very secret serum, this mummy will live. Sounds salacious. I can see why it's so tempting. It is. You know, I've always had a fascination with ancient Egypt and the process of regeneration. And when I acquired this mummy from a local museum, I knew I had to put my knowledge to the test. Have you had any luck? Not yet, but I'll never give up trying. I'm gonna get some more serum. His eyes, his eyes appear to be opening. Oh man, I think this is gonna work. This is it. You see it, right? Mm -hmm. No, no. There's gotta be more. Come on, there's gotta be more. Open your eyes. Open your eyes, damn it! I said open your eyes! Open your eyes! The undead are capable of many things, Uncle Richard. Don't underestimate them. I will succeed. I will succeed. Careful what you wish for. There's always a price to pay when you invite the undead. When you do wake up, my friend, you'll be quite useful to me. Amanda, 
and uh, forget it.
Yeah, what up? Yeah. Yeah, man. I know they're late. Maybe they're doing their hair. Maybe they're fixing the makeup. I don't know, man. But what I do know is when Great White promises three bitches, the three bitches gonna come. Yeah. Alright. Well, call me in 30 minutes. They'll show up, alright? Alright, Joe. Damn. Bitches, I'm trying to run a business over here. I'm sure these things gonna kill me. Wouldn't bet on it. Hmm. So you looking for work or something? Get off them drugs. You could be my best hope. I don't think you could afford me. I got all the money in the world, girl. I can afford you. Well, I take my payments in blood. What, bitch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I thought you could afford anything. Uh. Ah! 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 Nobody else here. So what do you have in mind? Hmm, what are you into? All sorts of things. It's not like my kind of girl. I don't have any cash on hand. Is that gonna be a problem? Maybe occasional exception. Come on. It isn't much, but it um it gets the job done. I like it. It's got atmosphere. It's called poverty. Business slow. Depends on the night. My um, manager, he takes more than his cut. He's such an ass. He walks around the club like he owns the place. He really pisses me off. This manager wouldn't happen to be a gentleman by the name of Great White, would it? Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. Do you want anything to drink? I think I have some wine in the fridge. I never drink wine. You seem like a champagne girl. I like that. It's classy. Is the music okay? It's fine. Oh. Just want you to be satisfied. I'm not a customer, remember? Satisfaction's still guaranteed. Oh, I have no doubt about that. But I like to be in control. Yeah, I was uh, calling to see if I could speak to your chief of police, please, if he has a moment to spare. Sure, I'll hold. Yeah, 
Chief Featherstone. Chief. Chief, hi. Listen, my name is Father John Carmichael, and I'm from the Lutheran Church in Elwood. Hello, Padre. Hi. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm actually in town here, and I noticed in your local newspaper that a man named Great White was killed the other evening. Oh, yeah, and as far as I'm concerned, good riddance to the bastard. Yeah, well, here's the thing. The newspaper said the police attributed the murder to a vicious animal, okay? But I'm here to tell you, what you're dealing with, Chief, is not a vicious animal. You're dealing with a vampire. Hello? Hello? Chief? Well, Carmichael, it looks like yet again, we go it alone. Damn it! Cheers. be a laughing stock of the scientific community. Greg? Where the hell were you tonight? Oh, God. I, I didn't make the lecture. Yeah, and you made me look like an ass in front of the entire department. I counted on you, Richard. I just got caught up is all. You, you know how my work consumes me? Let me guess. More mummy business? Listen, Greg. He opened his eyes. It was just for a second, but he opened his eyes. The thing is, it's over. I'm out of tan leaves and I can't afford any more. I put a second mortgage on the house to, to afford the last shipment. I'm done. You're a fool, Richard. And now you're also unemployed, it seems. What? What, what the hell? You have no power to fire me? You're, you're not my boss. No, but Whale is. And after tonight's little stunt, I must say he's a lot less than impressed. 
Son of a bitch. He can't, he can't do this to me. I've got tenure. I've given my whole life to this school. He says you need to clean out your office immediately and you're not welcome back on campus. Why didn't you back me up, friend? No more, Richard. Look, you've gone too far. This has cost you a job and your friend. You know what? Just go to hell. Just go to hell, Greg. Yeah, well, I guess I won't be coming to play chess next week after all. Well, I guess you won't. Amanda? Are you there? Don't come near me. I'm gonna call the police. No, no. I don't think you are. Now look into my eyes. I did it. Stand. Please. Please come stand. Stand with me. Please. Stand. My friend. My friend. No! 
Stop! You don't understand! Whoa, 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 friend. Easy. I feel you'll notice that we're very much alike, and we could prove quite useful to one another. So look deep into my eyes. I believe I've overstayed my welcome. Grab the girl. We're leaving. Maybe you didn't understand me. I need you to bring the girl so we can leave. You don't seem to understand. You take orders from me. Now bring the girl. <sighs> 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 Ah! <sighs> 
in the world? Mummies. <laughs> well, vampires are one thing, but I didn't sign up for mummies. There you are, you ungodly succubus. You escaped from me once before, but you will not escape me again. Burn in hell, demon. This means she's still out there. She's still out there. I have backup. Are you hungry, my pet? It's feeding time.